Is it hard to make friends as an international student? Racism here is very subtle. And you think that you're, they are being nice. Meanwhile, you know what it is. Master's degree is choking. Is it true that man no day? <laughs> I don't know why I'm this excited, but I mean, you can feel the excitement in my body. Thank you guys so much for stopping by again. If you're seeing my face for the very first time, my name is Timmy and you're absolutely welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for stopping by. And if you're a returning subscriber, you're the OG, the real MVP, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping by again. I do not take your love for granted. I truly, 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 truly appreciate you, okay? And you guys, we hit 500 subscribers. Can you believe that? Like, oh, I'm excited. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, I can't thank you enough. Like, I don't even know how to start saying thank you. I can literally kneel down now to say thank you to every single one of you. Like, I do not take this love for granted at all. Like, I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And to everyone that has been supporting me, um, sharing my videos, dropping comments, you guys, like, Take this big hug from me to you, okay? <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, guys, it's been six months of living in the UK alone, like no family members. Well, now I have a few family members that have come, but I mean, we're not even in the same city. But I've been doing this life, living alone, studying, working, supporting myself and all that for a whole six months you guys i feel very good about it i mean i haven't i haven't like lived alone before i used to live with my parents and i lived um with some family members some relatives back home and then coming here it's just been me alone and i feel like i've been doing pretty good i mean to god be the glory okay <laughs> yeah so in that regard i put a question tag on my instagram i don't know why i didn't put on youtube but youtube family i'm very sorry we're also going to do a youtube question and answer very soon i'm going to walk towards that but yeah i put a question tag on my instagram for you guys to ask me questions about living in the uk so far what it has been what my experiences have been like about my studying about working about making money um supporting myself and all that so yeah um that's what we're going to be doing today so i'm going to be answering those questions to the best of my ability okay so yeah i have a few questions here and so we're just like going to get right into it okay wait 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 before we go please hit the subscribe button subscribe to the channel if you're new please subscribe like i'm begging you please 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 let's start our road to 1k already okay please please subscribe to the channel in fact i'm going to wait for you so i'm going to give you a few seconds to subscribe yeah i'm going to do that so subscribe 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 please subscribe <laughs> yeah have you subscribed you have thank you now let's get into the video okay so yeah um all the questions are right here on my laptop so you might see me looking oops so you might see me looking down um that's because i'm trying to read out the questions from my laptop but i'm going to be looking up to you guys um as much as i can let's just get straight into it the very first question here says what do you enjoy most about the uk enjoy i don't think i've found something that i enjoy but i found things that i love like I've, I've, I've i know that i love the uk because of certain things and one of it is the fact that you can plan ahead you can plan that oh um so 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 day i want to do this i want to do that i want to get this done i want to get that done without having to worry whether you be able to get them done or not like there's usually little to no 
unforeseen circumstances that would stop you from you know achieving your set goals or doing the things that you've planned to do so yeah that's one of the things i love about um living in the uk another question here that i have is is it hard to make friends as an international student mm. To answer this question, I'd say it's it's depending on your personality, okay? It's depending on it's depending on the kind of person that you are. If you naturally love to like meet new people, make friends, then it shouldn't be hard for you. Um also um one of the things that helped me in making friends is the fact that like I mean before I left Nigeria, there's this group one of my friends, Aisha. If you have been watching me for a while now, you know who Aisha is, um, Aisha created like a group chat for like Nigerian students and all that so like a lot of us joined that group chat and we're about 600 and something if not more on the group chat so I mean getting here it was just for us to like put faces to the people that I've always known back home like chat that I've been chatting with basically so yeah it wasn't that hard to be honest for me to make friends as as I mean, and as an international student. However, um, if you want to like make friends outside of your country or outside of your tribe and all that, um, it will be, be depending on your personality and of course the personality of the people you're trying to be friends with, okay? So yeah, I don't think it's that hard. It's not that hard to be honest. Um, yeah, especially if you want to make Nigerian friends, I don't think it should be that hard. Um, also, I want to debunk something. Um, I've heard a lot of, oh, Nigerians don't support each other and all that. Like, as much as, like, I understand that that might be true, I mean, the Nigerians that I have met, like, people that I'm friends with, they're very good people, okay? Like, so, um, I don't know if to say that it's going to be hard making friends or meeting good people, but for me, it wasn't hard, to be honest yeah moving on to the next question um hope you are coping i know uk isn't as rosy as they paint it to be plus hope you are not facing racism so i'll answer the very first question which says hope i'm coping yes i am coping thank you very much for asking it hasn't been easy but i mean i'm doing very well i'm Things are getting better trust me like they are a lot better than i first came so yeah i'm coping it's, it's not easy but I'm, do, I'm doing pretty well thank god and thank you so yeah oh uh, plus hope you are not facing racism mm. this question i would say that the thing about the uk is that racism here is very subtle so <laughs> it takes the grace of god and you be you knowing like racism in its full element and full concept before you know that someone is being racist to you or something like that yeah so i haven't i wouldn't say that i haven't faced it but like it took me a while to think back like it took me a lot of thinking back to realize oh this person's act was like the person was being racist in the actual sense of it you guess like and then there are some jokes that if you are not smart enough, you, know, you laugh and all that, and then you think that you're they are being nice and they are being cool and they are being chilled. Meanwhile, you know what it is. But to answer the question, not really, to be honest. I wouldn't say that I've experienced like racism in its like full form. Yeah. Another question I have here is is master's degree really choking? Hmm. It's choking. It's choking. I'm not even gonna lie to you. <laughs> it's not easy, guys. Like especially when um, you're studying, you're working, you're the first child of your parents. You have siblings that you have to, you know, um, reach out to and ask, oh, how far this, how far that. You have families back home. You have a lot on your mind, basically. Like it's really not easy. Yeah, but like masters in, in itself, it's not bad to be honest. The way I said um, bachelor's degree was difficult. It's the same way I would say that this is difficult, but it's not that bad. Like the, especially the course I'm doing. I mean, I feel like that's why you need to study a course that will stress you so much. Um, 
I won't say that like there's a particular cause that won't stress you, but just like know your strength, know what you're good at, and just like try to study in that direction so that you won't have to like rack your brain and all that before you get assignments done. So yeah, another question here says, um, what culture shocks did you experience? See, I have a lot of questions about culture shocks. So I think I'm just going to, I have another question here that says, what, cult what culture shock did you have in the first week? There's another question here that says, what's your biggest culture shock so far? So I feel like a lot of people want to know about my culture shocks. So I'm going to make a video about it and I mean, let's have let's just have a proper video about like my culture shocks so far. Then the next question here says, when will you do giveaway? <laughs> when we hit 1k, let's hit 1k first. Let's hit 1k, let's hit 1k. Maybe, well, maybe when we hit 1k, I'll, I'll consider doing a giveaway. Another question here says, in the UK, are there Christian societies or churches where you come together to worship? and pray just asking by the way so yeah like there are quite a number of christian societies let me not say christian societies i know that there are quite a number of churches but it all depends on which one you would like to be honest i've been to one of those churches but i i didn't really like it like <clears throat> comparing it to the kind of church i used to attend back home in nigeria it wasn't like I, I didn't I, I wasn't feeling it so I had to go back to um, worshiping online till I find something I would love basically so yeah but there are a lot of churches there are lots of Christian societies um, I think um, um, even at my school there are some um, ladies women Christian worship something 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 so yeah um, if you look well you most likely find what you're looking for okay so yeah the next question here says how hard was it to adjust to a new country and system mm, this one on a scale of one to ten i'd say six for me and that's because i did my research before coming here okay i mean i did my research I asked questions, people that have been here before me. I have a friend who came in um, January of, um, did she come in January? Yeah, she came in January of 2022. I came in September of 2022. So like, you can imagine, like I had, I had a whole, I had someone who had spent like more than six months to ask questions. So I don't think it wasn't that hard to adjust to like the system and I mean, to everything going on. But I still had my own fair share of um, getting lost, um, losing my way, um, uh, and a lot of things like that. So yeah, I mean, I already said on a scale of one to ten, I would give it a six. It was quite hard, but I mean, if you can, if you have someone who can put you through, it's going to be like a lot easier and better for you. Um, another question here says. Um, what has been the best part of moving to the UK for school? Hmm, the best part of moving to the UK for school would be How we are being taught honestly all the lecturers that have that have taught me put like putting so much effort in Making sure that we all understand whatever we are being taught. I think for every school There's this lecturer to student relationship where you can walk up to your lecturer and let them know Oh, I have problems with this. I have problems with that in my school, I have a personal tutor, I have a module tutor. The personal tutor is someone that maybe I have problems with my schoolwork or problems with like even um, issues relating to like schoolwork and all that. It doesn't even have to be schoolwork, maybe issues relating with paying my school fees and all that. Not like they'll give me you money, or they'll not give you money, but I mean, they can like give you options available so you don't like put so much pressure and I mean, stress yourself a lot. So, yeah. Um, I think that's another thing. There's there's that support. You can feel that support, especially at my school. Okay, yeah. Um, another thing about another another thing I would say is the is my best part of moving to the UK for school is the fact that I'm more independent. Okay, I'm more. I get to do things um, by myself. Like think think things through before acting them out. The independence is now there like I can do things on my own without necessarily thinking of who is going to help me out 
I don't know if you guys get, but yeah, I feel like that's another thing. My independence level, what's it called, gone, like, it all, it all increased to another level. <laughs> um, another question here says, do you miss Nigeria? <laughs> no, I don't. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I miss my family. I miss my friends. But I wish I could, like, bring everybody here and leave Nigeria. I don't know if you guys, like... I don't miss Nigeria in itself, but I miss my family and friends. So I hope that answers your question. Okay. So another question here says, what's the average cost of living in the UK expected amount to have? So um, I've been thinking of making a video about the cost of living in Newcastle or average cost of living in Newcastle. And I think you should cover some parts of the UK, except London, of course, like, because like London is like more expensive than almost every other place in the UK. So um, if you want me to make a video about the cost of living in the UK, please drop it in the comment section and I'm definitely going to shoot a video about that, okay? But I mean, I have a question regarding that already, so I think that should count for making a video for it. So I, I'm guessing like a lot of people want to know how much I spend monthly in the UK. So yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay, I'm going to put that in mind. Expect that video very, very soon. Okay, um, another question here says that was there any time you felt like giving up and crying? Why? <sighs> you guys <laughs> see i'm laughing now because like things are now better they are a lot better than it was when i first came in like september october november december was like nothing to write to me about it was so bad i can count about three times now that i cried and about twice that i was just like you know what it's like i want to go back home like i'm done I'm not doing it again. <laughs> and I'm not joking, no, no jokes, guys. Like, but I mean, um, why? It's because um I've I had I had I had certain issues with my finances. I needed to pay my rent, I was struggling to pay my rent, I was struggling to you know feed, I was struggling. It was to be honest, guys, like it's a lot. If you want me to make a video about it let me know in the comment section and i'm going to like do and in fact you guys like i'm going to do like a story time of what happened and everything but to answer this question yes like I've, there, there, there are times that i felt like giving up there are times that i cried it's not felt like crying like i i cried in fact i cried so much guys like and yeah but i would say right now Things are a lot better than they were when I first came. So, yeah, I think, I mean, things are getting better. Things are really getting better. I'm not even going to lie. Like, things are getting better and I'm so grateful to God. So, yeah, but if you want me to do a story time about why I just wanted to go back home, like, I was done, let me know. And I'm going to do a story time for you guys. And go to, I'm, going to guys let you, I'm going to let you guys know um, what happened in details. Um, another question here says, um, how do you balance school and work and family back home? I feel like I just prioritize, to be honest. When I know that, like, I have deadlines for school, I cancel every other thing on my mind regarding, no, not work, I cancel everything on my mind regarding family matters, okay? So, like, I just focus on school and to an extent focus on work. But I'm not going to lie, I feel like work has been taking more of my time than school and family. And my family has also, my family has been supportive to an extent, I'll say they have. I mean, they understand that, um, I'm going through a lot and I have a lot on my plate and I have a lot on my mind. So sometimes I don't feel like talking to anybody. I just want to be on my own. I just want to like focus on my focus basically. So I mean, when that happens, I feel like especially my sister, my siblings, to be honest, they understand that I just don't want to talk to them for that moment and they just understand. And whenever I'm ready, I reach out to them and we speak. Yeah and um for school and work i just like 
again prioritize whichever one is like most important to me at the moment is what i focus on another question here says is masters in the uk really worth it yes i would say that masters in the uk is worth it i've answered something like this before um, about the best part of studying in the uk and it's because like um i would say it's worth it's it's worth it because i understand everything that they're teaching us like to an extent i know to an extent i know how to like apply it in real life situations or like um when during my on like my undergraduate days um studying economics like i was so confused like i knew that they were teaching us a lot of theories a lot of laws a lot of aristotle a lot of ols is blue a lot of statistics but i mean i didn't know how to like apply them in real life okay but i mean studying here in the uk like they try as much as possible to balance it i don't know if it's the course i'm studying honestly but i feel like they try as much as possible to balance this um make you see how you can apply the theory they are teaching you in the real life in the real world so you don't i mean get confused when you get to that real world and you, i mean you don't know what to do what's not the essence of spending so much money okay so yeah i'll say that masters in the uk is worth it um, another question here says how often do students throw parties they throw parties but i haven't been attending like i've no i don't even have time like is it me that i'm struggling with school struggling with work struggling with family that i'll not still have time for parties like they, there are a lot of parties around a lot of clubs a lot of a lot of parties a lot of events but i really haven't had time to I mean like take part in those activities but one of these days i'm going to like start prioritizing that because at the end of the day they say chop life make life no chop you okay so i think i'm going to incorporate that in my activities going forward because i mean the girls gotta unwind sometimes so yeah another question says how easily are you finding financial stability again i would say that it's better than i first came um, when i first came it was so bad like i was so confused I, I didn't know what to do with it like i was just like i had a lot of bills in front of me and i'm like how who is going to pay for all this can't be me but can't be me can't be me ended up being me <laughs> So yeah, but now it's it's getting better. Things are a lot better than it used to be. So the next question says, how many jobs have you had so far? I think we're just going to count it. So when I first came, I um, registered with Indeed Flex and I used to do jobs, um, replenishment assistant jobs at Indeed Flex. With Indeed Flex, I, I worked in a lot of grocery stores as a replenishment assistant. So I registered with Indeed Flex and I did some jobs with them then i got a job as a care and support worker a domiciliary care and support worker actually so yeah this one was the one i was going from one client house to another to give care and support to them then after that i registered with blue arrow and i was getting some shifts with them i actually still work with blue arrow i picked some shifts with them once in a while um when i don't like when i'm unable to like work my actual shifts okay so um that's three then i registered then i got a job as a care and uh, a care assistant at the care home so yeah i also worked there for a few months and i left i've also worked as a baker and pastry chef and yeah so that's how many in total five jobs in total yeah, that's the number of jobs I've had so far. Next question says, what's the worst thing about cohabiting with strangers? I'm not sure cohabiting is the right word to use because like I'm not like, I live alone, I don't live with people. Like I, I have my own space, I have my toilet, I have my room to myself, my wardrobe. Everything in fact like is mine. The only thing I share is my kitchen and my living area. And honestly, I wouldn't call those that are here strangers because like out of the eight of us living in this flat um six of us and in fact yes yeah, six of us are nigerians so six of us are nigerians and like god really blessed me with my flatmates like i've heard a lot of stories about 
um, dirty kitchen, your flatmate being dirty, not wanting to clear the only space that you share, and that can be very. Ah, I feel like <laughs> I feel like I wouldn't have liked something like that if my flatmates were like dirty. But I mean, they're very clean people. They do what they are meant to do at the time they are meant to do it. So yeah, I don't have any problem with my flatmates. The next question here says, um, is it true that man no day? <laughs> Um, uh, I don't know. I, I honestly have no idea to be honest because and then that's going to take me to the next question Are you engaged to someone in Nigeria or, or probably have something serious with someone in Nigeria? Yes, I am not engaged But I had something serious and I still have something serious with someone in Nigeria. So I didn't come here with the mindset of Getting a man, so maybe because of that, I really cannot answer that question if man day or man no day. But I have people who are in relationships and they met here, so honestly, I'm of the opinion that no matter how tough things might seem, or no matter how, to how tough people might say things are, I would get my own. Yeah, that's it. Um, any other question? Oh, that's all the questions. That's it, that's it, that's it. I hope I was able to answer these questions the way you wanted me to answer them. If you have any more questions, please drop them in the comments section, okay? And I'm going to answer as much as I can. You know me, like people who are always in my comments know that I always answer their questions. So if you have any questions, drop them in the comment section. If you want to reach out to me, I always have my Instagram handle and Instagram link in the description box so you can send me a direct message on Instagram and I'll be glad, like, I'll be so happy to answer any questions that you have. So yeah, we have come to the end of today's video, guys. Please do not forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave, okay? Hit the subscribe button and yeah, give the video a thumbs up. Please like it, okay? Like it if you enjoyed it. And yeah, um, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!